Last night, December 6, 2009, Dothan police responded to a robbery at the Beeline store located in 1300 block of Hodgesville Road. We had some detectives that were working a, another detail. They had just finished it up and they started to respond in that direction. And they met the suspect vehicle in the area of Selma and uh, St. Andrew Street. They turned around the vehicle, pursuit began. Uh, they chased the vehicle until it eventually was going out, Hodge, excuse me, Cottonwood Road and uh, about a mile outside the uh, circle, they lost sight of the vehicle because he turned off his headlights and was running with no headlights. They had backed off, slowed down, they were looking for him, and all of a sudden they came upon, upon the vehicle. The vehicle was involved in a wreck. It had struck another vehicle. Uh, the Houston County deputy just happened to be in the area responding to the pursuit, and with the assistance of the Houston County deputy, we took into custody a man that was later charged with armed robbery. The man's name was Victor Lee Dozier, 36 years of age, lives at Young American Drive here in Dothan. He had just been recently released from prison on parole. He had seven years yet to serve. He was arrested for that robbery, charged robbery first degree and attempting to loot. Our detectives, after talking to him, Took about an hour, hour and a half. Ended up, we ended up clearing six recent robberies that he was involved in. They were as follows. The KFC, the 109 Ross Clark Circle, occurred on November 22nd. Or excuse me, yeah. And the, the KFC at uh, 1801 Ross Clark Circle, excuse me, that was November 22nd. The first one was November 17th. The hop-in at 1676 Cottonwood Road occurred November 30th. Subway at 2300 block of the circle occurred December the 3rd. Hop-in 3200 block Hartford Highway occurred December 4th. The Shell Food Mart 3300 block of West Main Street occurred December 5th. He was booked into the Dustin City Jail on seven counts of robbery first degree and one count of attempting to elude. The bond was set by the local judge at $1 million on each count of robbery and $250,000 for the attempting to loot. Needless to say, we'll be talking to the state of Alabama about the other seven years he'll end up owing them when they put him back in jail and put him back in prison for his little troubles that occurred while out on parole. No one was uh, seriously injured in the wreck. They did seek some medical attention in the other car. Uh, they had minor injuries. That's being investigated by our crash team. At this time, anyone have any questions?